here we go again into the jungle gonna do some brush busting today <clears throat> alright it's been about I don't know 15 minutes and I found my first interesting little target under this big tree right by the front steps I found a big that huge tennis ball sized crotal bell over there by the corner of the foundation and these roots here I found a piece of one It's a shame it's all busted up. Figures. It's only about, what is that, I don't know, six inches down? But it was in between roots, so it was a pain in my ass. Oh, maybe there's more of it in there. I'll get back to you. And there we go. There was one more piece in there. That was a big one. It's a shame it ain't whole. Okay, I decided to do a little bit of raking right here next to the front steps in this in between the front steps and this huge tree. Just rake it off like the first, I don't know, four or so inches of this topsoil and all the leaves and stuff. And I got a weird signal right here, right next to the walkway. And it, I dug way down and it turned out to be something iron. I could see that it was iron. I thought, well, I already dug down that far, I'm gonna dig it out anyway. And uh, that's what it is. I've, I don't know. Could that be a rusty hood ornament from something? I have no idea. Hopefully it'll clean up a little bit. Okay, I turned up my first marble of the day. Just raking. Alright, get back to you if I find anything interesting. Okay, I got my first coin of the day. It's just a Jefferson. Jefferson nickel. <clears throat> Hopefully not my last. something else to watch out for you know when you're out here in the thick stuff you know make sure you look around for like uh, you know danger things that could harm you like that last video where I uh, was kneeling down under that that tree that was ready to fall over you know I wasn't paying attention and you just never know you know it could have fell right on me uh, and right now you know I'm moving all that brush over there and I'm seeing an unusual amount of those uh, yellow jackets, wasps, whatever you want to call them. I don't see a nest anywhere. I don't see them flying into a hole in the ground anywhere. But there could be a, a nest over there somewhere. Or they could just be attracted to this area that I just cleared. There's a lot of those flowers. They're not acting aggressive, but I sure don't want to step in there on their hole if they got a nest in the ground. So I'm just going to be careful. I'm going to look out. Yeah, you know, always watch out for stuff like that too. All 
Okay, I'm still in the same spot in front of the house here. I just got a iron signal. It had a little bit of a high tone mixed in with it, so I said, well, I'm gonna dig it anyway. This place is so polluted with nails and iron. But I dug up a very nice horseshoe. That's really cool. I will take a horseshoe any day. I just dug up another freaking horseshoe. Man, that sucker's wrapped around a root. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. I can't get it to spin one way or the other. Oh, I gotta get the... Uh, I brought some clippers because I come prepared, damn it. Oh, yeah. There we freaking sorry. Ah. How about that? All right, second one of the day. All right, I decided to move operations because uh, I'm just getting tired of those bees buzzing me over there. So I'm gonna come, come over here on the side of the house and clear some of this. This is like the driveway. I found uh, two silver dimes in there before and a bunch of other stuff. So we'll see what I can find. I gotta clear it all out first. All right, I hope you can see that. I just cleared along the side of the house here. Go so right there. This is the steps right here. So, and there's the, uh, uh, what the hell you want to call it? The cellar entrance is over there. That's about where I found my marks. So I'll give it a shot. I'll let you know if I find anything. Man, I haven't found anything good in a while. So uh, here is a uh, memorial penny. Whoop-de-doo. At least it's copper. I can't see the date. Nineteen seventy something. Okay. Okay, on my way out, I stopped and I thought I'd uh, show you this. Um, this is where that second building was that I keep talking about up here on this raised level part. I said there was a depression there. I thought it was like maybe the outhouse. And here's that depression. I hope it shows up good enough on camera. But yeah, there's definitely a depression there. I don't know what it was. A well or maybe another, um, or an outhouse. I don't really know. But they filled, somebody filled it in. There's a freaking, there's a grill in there. And there's, uh, like a fertilizer, little fertilizer lawn spreader. coffee can all kind of junk is thrown in there so I'm not gonna mess with it anymore today but yeah that's it might as well show you the remains of the one of the old barns too well this is more of a garage this uh, it was like rebuilt in what was it I think like 1952 or something around that time I'd love to detect around it too, but just like everything else, it's freaking just covered in trash. Jesus 
Christ, there's a lot of garbage. You want to need some tires? Oh, that fucking furnace? What the hell is that shit? Some kind of oven. Got a jar of nails for Christ's sake. No. It's funky. Hmm. Now what the hell they did back here? Pieces of marble. Shit. What a freaking mess. No chance of hell of detecting up in here. Oh shit, I might as well. It's about as About as good as the other places I detect. There's a ball of nails. What's that gonna ring up as? Oh, my machine, 36. It's a dime. Oh, it's a dime, I found. Oh, yeah. 36. It's a dime. It's a seeded. Oops. There's a door knob.
Couple of buckets, about 30 bazillion. The original barn was down closer to the house. Down there. This cinder block one was built in around 1952, according to the aerial view. I don't even know why I'm going up here. This is the road they used to take to get up to their fields. I'm not going up there now. I've had enough torture for today. Go home and lick my wounds. Look at metal detectors I can't afford. There all these great places I could go detecting, and I'm using, I might as well be using dowsing rods, or eyeballing surface finds. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, the older barn was down here to the right, down, down in that flat depression somewhere. Oh yeah, on my way up I spotted an actual bee's nest in the ground, so I'm going to have to watch for that. Go like hell.